Meghan Markle has been warned taking part in the Vogue September issue could be a dangerous move and result in the Duchess of Sussex alienating people. Meghan Markle is believed to be on track to take on the role of editor-in-chief for the flagship September issue of Vogue. The Duchess of Sussex will reportedly discuss causes close to her heart in an opinion piece and will help select female change makers to contribute with their essays. But Meghan has been warned her decision to participate may be dangerous to the neutrality she is expected to have as a member of the royal family. E. Chief News Correspondent Melanie Bromley said, This is a really big deal, the reason being that we've seen Diana doing magazine covers. We've seen Kate with the British Vogue anniversary, as well, but being the editor and having editorial control is a very, very interesting choice. We talk about the royals not being political a lot, not having a strong viewpoint in either way, so they're not alienating anybody. This could be seen as quite dangerous. Members of the royal family traditionally keep a distance from politically charged issues to maintain a certain level of neutrality. Miss Bromley suggested the Duchess of Sussex could incur in criticism should she decide to wade into the political discourse with her opinion piece in the Vogue September issue. She continued, she does have to be careful. She has to be careful not to use her position to influence people on things that are going to be alienating. Prior to marrying Prince Harry in May 2018, Meghan Markle was an outspoken supporter of campaigns promoting female empowerment. The Duchess of Sussex partially transposed her passion for advocacy to her royal duties when she became a patron of Smart Works, a charity whose goal is to help vulnerable women learn new skills and succeed in job interviews. But Meghan would not be the first member of the royal family to discuss political issues as her brother-in-law Prince William earlier this week questioned farmers over their views on Brexit during an official visit to Cumbria. Prince Andrew also broke with tradition about political neutrality when he admitted he could not see why British business could not succeed after Brexit. Meghan will not be following in the footsteps of her sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, who became Vogue's centenary cover star in June 2016. Appearing in a 10-page shoot, Kate opted for a casual, country image to reflect her love of the countryside. Former Vogue editor-in-chief Alexandra Shulman said at the time, It's a huge honor and incredibly exciting for us to have HRH the Duchess of Cambridge featuring on the cover of British Vogue and as part of our centenary issue. For me personally it has been a wonderful experience to have had the opportunity to work with her on this and I am immensely proud of what we have produced. This special issue of the magazine is very close to my heart as it had to reflect on 100 years of British Vogue, and so I am hugely grateful that we have been able to continue with our tradition of outstanding royal portraiture with these pictures. The Duchess of Sussex is instead believed to have begged off from appearing on the cover and has planned to have pictures taken around her home at Frogmore Cottage. Prince Harry and their young son Archie are not expected to take part in the photo shoot, Princess Diana was also no stranger to Vogue covers, having featured on the cover of three British Vogue editions and one of US Vogue during her life. Princess Anne, too, appeared on the cover for the UK version of Vogue for the September issue in 1971. She collaborated with the magazine twice again in May 1973 and November 1973.